everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, we are reorganizing the craft room using some Dollar Tree and Target supplies, and we are beginning a new Spring Fever series all about getting our homes clean and organized for spring. So if you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So I am getting started today in the craft room slash office because that seems to be my spot in the house that I use a little bit as a dumping ground. You know that area, I think maybe we all have a little spot where you put things to be dealt with at another time and often you never deal with them. So that's where I'm going to get started today because I think if I can get that area nice and organized and cleaned out, it will kind of set me up for success in other areas of my home. So. I'm going to take you along with me and show you the good and the bad and the ugly and hopefully by the end of the video and after maybe a couple days it will be in good shape. So here we go. So this is my craft room as it stands today. It never actually recovered from the holidays and has just been getting buried under more and more stuff that needs to find a home. I do have a pretty good system set up in here already. I just think it needs fine tuned a bit with some more storage options added. In this room, I use a lot of the cube storage systems that you can find almost anywhere. I got mine at Target and on the whole, it has worked really well. Fortunately, I have this large closet that I can use to hold all of my craft supplies. I think I just need a few extra bins. So I ran out to Target and got this three section Room Essentials cube storage shelf that matches the other pieces in the closet. I really like this system because it allows you to store like items together separate your supplies by use and there is enough room to break storage down into smaller containers inside the bins. There are a bunch of different cube styles you can choose from and I love using these clip-on tags to label what's inside. Even though the shelves are in a closet that can be closed up, I like the fact that it looks nice and neat when you open it. Everything is labeled so supplies are easier to find. Back at Target, I was able to find these small Sterilite storage totes on sale that were perfect for the inside of the bins. I have been able to separate all of my different crafting tools so that everything I need for a project is in one small bin. They stack easily inside of the cubes and allow space for other storage containers like my favorite Ziploc bags. Now not all of the storage cubes are separated this way, some just hold bulk craft supplies. With this system complete, I headed out to the Dollar Tree to find some solutions to my other storage needs in this room. Dollar Tree has always been my go-to place to find those cheap problem solvers for any organizing project. Like this dollar dish rack holder that you can use in so many different ways. You can use it as a file rack to store your notebooks or like I'm going to use it today to store the vinyl to my Cricut machine have just hung it here in the closet using a couple command strips and some of those small felt pads to hang it at an angle so it works perfectly to hold those tubes of Cricut cutting machine vinyl. I also picked up a couple of those corner shelf risers that you can find in the Dollar Tree kitchen section. I have a cabinet in my desk that really doesn't have a lot of organization to it. I stood up one riser on the side here to corral all of my little notebooks and list pads that I use all the time. And I used another to create a shelf to hold a three drawer container that I found at Target that holds some extra desk supplies. And underneath that, I was able to store my staplers and my different size hole punches. Underneath all of this, I am using my absolute favorite thing to buy at the Dollar Tree, and that is the dish pans. I use these throughout my house for so many different storage needs, but here I'm using a dish pan to hold my paper cutter and my label maker. It creates almost like a pull out drawer that makes finding what I'm looking for so much easier. New to me at the Dollar Tree are these three section trays with a handle on top. In the past, I have used something like this when my kids were younger for a take along activities in the car, but this time around, I am using it to hold my planner supplies. 
This will be perfect to keep on my desk here in my craft room and also to carry it around the house. My planner spends half of its life in my kitchen and having a place like this to store it when I'm not using it will keep it clean and out of the way. While I was at Target, I picked up this three drawer Sterilite set for my little makeshift credenza I have here on the side of my desk. I am always on the lookout for the perfect pen for memory keeping and planning. And in the process, I have collected so many markers, colored pens and pencils. I needed a way to separate them by project, color, and type. Behind my desk, I have a whole set of larger storage cubes by Threshold that you can also find at Target. These are some of the same cubbies that I have on the side of my desk as well. They come in a bunch of different size combinations and a couple different colors and are really easy to blend in to whatever style you have going on in your room. Since the bins are a little bit larger, you can really use them to store away larger equipment. This is where I store my camera, along with all the different lenses that I use. I also store my microphones and the different cables and small tripods that I use for YouTube. So I am really happy with the way that this room looks. I am always happiest when everything is in its place. And by adding some new storage solutions, I was able to find a home for all of my craft tools and supplies. I was also able to utilize some great Dollar Tree products to solve some storage problems. My craft room has always been my happy place. It's where I go to be creative. It's where I work on DIYs and projects with my kids. I will leave some links down below to the products that I use today, and I'll also leave some links to some of my favorite pieces in this room. So you guys, I have like serious spring fever, and by my spring fever, I mean that I just have a whole bunch of areas in my house that I want to purge and clean and organize before springtime gets here. So I think we have like five weeks before spring and I thought that we can probably check a lot of these things off of our list if we get started now and we do them together. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to brush off my Facebook page because I haven't really been using it much at all. And I am going to start posting every week about the area in my house that I'm working on. I'm gonna share some pictures and things that are working for me and the products that I am using to help me reach my goal. So in the information section down below this video, I am going to have a link to my Facebook page. I would really love for you guys to go on, like the page, and follow along on this little journey of ours. But even more importantly, I want you guys to post pictures, share your tips, and show us the products that are helping you along the way. So thank you all so much for watching today. In the information section down below, there will be that link to my Facebook page. I hope you will all follow along with us as we get a head start on getting our homes ready for spring. Over the next couple of weeks, I will have some really great videos on how to easily organize your spaces, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with too. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have, be kind to each other, and I will see you again soon. Bye!